Hello, my name is Maharani Manchanagara, or known as Rani. I'm an Indonesian artist whose work explores and reinterprets Indonesia's complex and sometimes sensitive issues of modern socio-political and cultural history through fictional narrative and storytelling. My interest in history began when I discovered my grandfather's diary, which led me on a journey of intertwining a plethora of personal histories that reflect larger socio-political dynamics of 20th century Indonesia. In my research, I often inter encounter intergreen personal narratives, often imbued with the source subjectivity, which offers an alternative view of documented history as well as revealing its complex layers. The work displayed in the exhibition at the Chongju Museum Art covered three different things of my work from 2015 to 2019. In the work Thinker Choice 2, I criticize the education system in Indonesia, which may also happen anywhere. The education system is made to deliver superior graduates good quality. But now, in fact, there have been some deviations along with the implementation of the system. The purpose of education, which is to humanize humankind, has undergone distortion, resulting in dehumanization. It is caused by the shifting of in our view of students as objects of education instead of subjects. Accordingly, the education system becomes similar to a system used in factories, which process raw materials into high-quality products. Education which should be done humanely by humans in the nuance of human life has been lost. If this condition persists, it would lead education to its downfall. Therefore, we need a solution to fix this problem. Playing could become an effective solution. By combining playing and education, the learning process will be more attractive, interactive, and dynamic, for playing is one of our nature as a human. The works of Baba Tujutan and Sarikat Partikulir are the beginning of my journey to the theme of genocide even in Indonesia in 65-66. A trip to one of the places where the initial arrest of political prisoner in the city of Surabaya, precisely in the Koblen prison, and make a self-reconstruction between macro-history and micro-history from a family particulars perspective. The journey in Surabaya also opened a new reality that I discovered at the time, namely the abandonment of the historic prison building where the Japanese military were arrested. And also the political prisoners were gathered to be neglected. Although it has been named a historic building with a city of work, it doesn't make this place a memoir of historical events in the past. The works of Hikayat Wanatundram series contain a storybook, a mural, an island, and two chapter snippets from a storybook. A fictional fable that offers the audience an alternative history based on the stories of political prisoners at Pulau Buru after 1965. Through these fictional fairy tales, I subtly address the sensitive political issues that have been polarizing the nation for decades and invites us to question the widely accepted history narratives, which are often written by those in power and left the, man, the minorities at train. I challenge the historical narratives by reconstructing them in my redemption through metaphors and allegories. The mouse dealer as the political prisoner, the pirates as vile uniform officers, and the frigate bird as a media and human rights advocates.
The word trombat masyarakat starts from stories I collected from survivors of the 65 genocide who have professional backgrounds as a journalist. How do they survive to keep writing using a pen and pouring their thoughts through a typewriter even though they are shackled and exiled in a place that doesn't have easy access to information and work equipment? Inspired by the survival kit box, which is expected to be a satirical solution to events that occurred in the past.